Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to RimWorld. Let's continue onwards to glory, shall we? With more stories and of course we have a story update from Templar once again. Oh great. We have a lag spike. That is always nice. Right at the start. So uh, Templar has been here with us for a while. But let's take a look at his story of how, he, how his first colony went. He was before in a different colony. So let's not... 16 holy crap i'm 16 templar stepped calmly forcing himself to act stone-faced it wasn't easy he was so excited just the thought of not being alone made him grin all these new people it was amazing so many different races so many so many different lifestyles so many different friends he didn't know if he could be happier at least until he tried cooked food for the first time knock knock you all right kid it was Aster. He was the leader of the small colony, and unfortunately, far too worried for the kid that didn't think much of himself to begin. I'm fine, Templar shouted back, his stomach loudly disagreeing with him. Don't sound like it. The camel man rested against the post, lighting up a cigarette. Sounds like you ate something. Something that ain't agreeing with you. I, Templar, kept quiet, worried about what the old camel man would think if he told him about his usual diet. You don't need to worry. I know the signs. You haven't eaten cooked meat for a while, have you? I really don't want to talk about us right now. Tough. Aster took a long drag. Do you even know how many raw meat eaters we have in this colony? A lot. Templar poked his head out of the stall, still unsure. I'm not a freak? Kid, the freakiest part about you is the fact that you tore the rug out of your room yesterday. And then there's that book of yours, not to mention the hair of yours. I don't need a silk carpet, or a double bed for that matter, Templar responded, a bit annoyed that he had to explain himself. You know, you could have told us that before you destroyed the room. Sorry? <laughs> Esther doubled over with laughter, fought to compose himself. Templar, forgetting the pain in his stomach, was much less amused. The hell's so funny? Templar demanded, bursting out of the stall he was in. You, kid. Aster wiped a tear away before the camel's eyes settled on the boy's own. The fact that you think you need to apologize to me, he laughed again. We are all freaks, outcasts and what have you. Shit, I'm addicted to at least four different drugs and one of them is going to kill me. I didn't know, Aster interrupts. Just like we didn't know that you need a little something different. Aster smiles, offering Templar a drag from his cigarette which he accepts. But now, we know. And now you don't have to worry about being a freak. I eat rats. Holy shit! <laughs> that revelation at the end got me as it got the Mr. Old Camel Man. I like this so much. <laughs> very, very good Templar. Very, very good. It kind of explains he's uh, uh, a... What is it? A scatic? Ascetic, yeah, he's a ascetic trait, you know, he doesn't want a room that is too nice and all that stuff. I like it. I like it very much, actually. Very cool story. Good job. Now, our colony is healing up after some acid problems. You know, every good colony has some acid problems. It's just the way it is. Just the way it is. And we still have these drama dares here, huh? Ibex Ram, we actually have animals? Yo, boys. Yo, we got Ibexes. That Ibex ain't around anymore. We actually have some rats and tortoises. Actually, somebody wanted a tortoise to tame. We'll possibly do that. Okay, now we have a triple wall over here. This one I do want to beef up possibly a bit more as well. Uh, but first, let's go and... Templar is dazed. Great. Let's do something about this. These holes over here. He was soaking wet, but there's a shaman merchant coming. Alright. Alright. We definitely didn't have enough merchants coming in. So, uh, this is good. This is good. Infinity is going to repair the traps. Alrighty then. You guys want to bring in the Xeno boys? I mean, that wouldn't be so bad, because they are deteriorating. I know they eat away at our butcher's table, but 
we kind of do need what they have to offer so if you could that'd be great nuke are you healed you seem fine we need you to craft us another helmet like lost has because i wanted to send these guys somewhere didn't i uh where did i want to send you i think down here these guys have a mortar that's like real bad if it's an automatic mortar we are dead Mm, potentially we'll go there, potentially we won't, I don't know. Lost is fully healed, that's good to know. We have plenty of gold ore out here, and there is of course titanium. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Templar, you were dazed because you were soaking wet, now you're standing in the rain being dazed. You see... Ooh, ooh. What do you get? Just an auto pistol? Was that all? Was that all we got? That's the North pistol, huh? You know, sometimes you get machine guns and such. This time around we got an auto pistol. Amazing. Maniac D, go speak with uh, Romabe. See what he's got to say. He's selling Cobras and some Great Danes. Mm, no. He's selling Plasteel. That would be useful to have. And a schematic cabinet. I think we're gonna buy this. This is useful. Uh, this is also very expensive. But we have a lot of joints we could sell you. I think we won't buy plastic because it's just extremely expensive. We'll just sell you some joints. Yeah. That will do, I think. Now, where did that schematic cabinet go? It's right there. Let's install it over here in the corner. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Yes, thanks for trading with us, friends. You can have your Great Dane. I'm sure they're kind of a cool doggo, but... Not for us right now. It's pretty hot out here, huh? Pretty darn hot. Right, you are doing the cooling over here, but you're not that amazing, are you? Oh, we are actually lacking power right now. We are uh, dropping on the power pour point. On the power point, you know. How about we add one of these bad boys up here? Let's connect this one. So during the day, it's fine when we have the solar genies, but during the night, it might be a problem. Okay, Infinity's building these tramps, that's good. That all needs to be fixed. Nuke, what you doing right now? Feeding fry cats, that's acceptable. Drosmo is fighting Eagle. Drosmo, goddammit. You're just fine, aren't you? I doubt anybody would be able to hurt you with that uh, gear you have on you. Okay, you're making the spears, correct. You're making the spears. Have you made any? No, you're still making your first one. The helmet is still there to be made. So this, these ones should be pretty, pretty good. Pretty tough and all. We'll see if that's true. We'll see how much damage they do. Okay, it's an excellent one. Even has art. This weapon is engraved with an image of Hashem Amiri, elbow deep in low lost during surgery to improvise but effective tools. Hashem has blood smeared on her face. The work represents devotion. In addition to that, the scene takes place in the middle of the township. This artwork relates to lost medical operation on 5th of December. Is that when we got you like a new leg? 9 damage. That's better. Frackets, how much is this thing of yours? That's 10 damage. So we took the spear, tail spike, and this spear does less damage. It does have better reach, probably. I mean, does that even matter? I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed. Slightly. But it's definitely better than what Lost has. Because a uh, Lost spear is like 3 damage. So Lost. Go ahead and equip this, buddy. So maybe we're gonna, I don't know, let fry cats have that thing. I don't know, Templar, if you're gonna get you this, this, this weapon or not. 
It's debatable. Uh, these guys might buy that spear, I wonder. No, probably not. Maybe. Nuke, go talk to this guy. Ask them if they will buy our spear. No, they will not. Okay. They would buy our cats. Oh, they're shaman trader. Right, right, they're shaman trader. Templar is starving Marvin. Okay. I think we're gonna make one less. We're just gonna make this one and call it there. For now. I thought it's gonna do much better, but... Alright. This thing gives us plus 10% uh, research bonus, which is great. Templar is starving and he is exhausted. Just the way he likes it. Okay. You made a normal one. Disappointing. Uh, go fabricate over here. I know you want to make shells, but I need you to fabricate over here until this is done. Now, at what point are you supposed to go to bed, Nuke? At 12. We're gonna we're gonna let you go to bed at 12. All right. Until then, you just work, buddy. You just work. That is a good spear. It is a good spear. For sure. Templar, please. You're malnourished and exhausted. Why? Why would you do this to yourself? We read your story. We now know that you're kind of a weird kid. But, I mean, you're not a kid anymore. So, how about that? I thought this is too dirty to be in home zone. Let's fix it. Let's fix that. Nuke, how are you feeling? Hey, we got the tortoise. Okay. Uh, I need to check. So someone that is not actually in the colony quite yet wanted to have a tortoise. Now I need to check the name of that tortoise. Then we're going to get him in. Where are you? Gotta find you. Ah, there you go. Okay, the tortoise name. Tortoise, where are you? There you are. You come into area one, and your name is supposed to be Tommy. So welcome to the colony, little Tommy. Hopefully you will not perish. <laughs> I will make you obedient, and that's about it. There you go, you can sleep with the rest of the animals in here. How about that? How's the temperature down here? Oh, it's, uh, it's okay, but you can see this one is cold and then these two are much hotter. So the best is to do like the central, you cool down the central part or heat up and then, you know, the side ones get the vents. But we did not do that here, did we? Nope, no we didn't. And this one, <laughs> this one is kind of hot. Kind of hot. Actually, who cares? Who cares? Tommy's here. Good to know. Nook's asleep. Lost, are you gonna... Lost is gonna cook still. Alright. Daniel is making us more of these joints. Right, because we sold a lot. Right, we sold a lot, so we make new ones. Good. And we're researching the traps. Correct. Lost needs treatment. Did you butcher something? He did, didn't he? Did you eat yet? You did eat, but you soiled yourself and you're hungry. Go eat, dude. Just eat a just eat a meal. And you should really eat a simple meal because you hate eating fine meals, remember? I don't know if you remember, buddy. How about you eat a simple meal? You're a skeptic, you don't like fine meals. I like the simple ones. Oh that thing still has insect meat, that's why they're not eating it, huh? Yeah, that's why he would prioritize this one. That's true. That's okay, but the insect meat might be the only meat we have soon. We do have quite a lot of fish meat right now. But otherwise, yeah, xenomorph meat is gonna be the meat. The meat of the day. We get some more bamboo. 1700 bamboo now, that's pretty bamboozle. And I want this to be a bit more like that you see just a bit thicker 
so people don't you know get ideas of maybe going through here they would probably get idea of hey let's go through here where it's easier to get through is that gonna happen I don't know but uh, it would be nice if that was the case but let that one be uh, we'll add this one over here so go work on that infinity Rosemore's just chilling. Then we're gonna do over here. We're just gonna do. I don't know. I think. Let's do that. Lost, did you butcher something spicy again? You did, didn't you? He did. You gonna bring the goods over there? Yes. Yes, you are. Good. Now remember, you have to build the in one, the inner one first. This one. And then you build the outer one. That will do. Alright. Uh, we still have some granite. So let's do this. I'm going to do... I think something like that. Yeah, you know, just so we have some embrasures over here. Actually, let's do this. So whoever goes has to come from here to here. That's acceptable. Yes, let's do that. Let us do that. And this one is going to get reinstalled here. Yes, indeed. And this one is going to get reinstalled here. I think that will do. That way we have some defense over here. You really don't need to build a roof on top of this infinity. It's fine. Like, really, it is. And that way we can walk through here and here. And we have some form of protection here. And we should do the same, like, here. Maybe over here as well. And something down here. Wait, is this... It's a hot spring. We have a hot spring over here. Huh, I wasn't even aware of that. Wait, can you fish in a hot spring? And since when is there hot spring in here? It's not fishable, is it? Hot springs are not fishable. Alright. Alright. Lost, did you get yourself inked again? Buddy, stop it. We're wasting all of our good meds on you right now. Just because you get some acid on you. It's all good, man. It's all good. Okay, this is almost done. Lost his back to it. <laughs> you know, all those tail spikes and carapaces. You know, they are good selling material. So, uh, if you can trade them off, why not, right? There you go. We got uh, traps. Then we could do this. Or we could do that. Let's actually get some gun turrets. I think that will do. I think we'll even get some gun turrets down here. Oh, right? No, just a lag spike. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Is there any more warriors? Are they... Yeah, there's some warriors. There's three more warriors. I think only warriors are acid boys. The rest is not acid boys. The rest are just normal boys. Nook, you're up. What you doing? Assuming fine meal, I need you to make that helmet. Okay, wash yourself. This is fine. You do that. Hash and infinity are working over there. That's great. Now go back here and fabricate there. You only have a bit more to do over here, so this is fine. Okay. We have that protection barrier here. So let's do something of the same here. I guess we can I guess we can use this side at the same time. So let's do something like this. And then something like that. Yes, let's do something like this. So if anybody comes through here, we use this. If anybody comes through here, we use this. Let's do that. 
Is it gonna be good? No, but it's better than not having anything, I think. So let's do that. You know, just a bit of protection, and then we have to do something as well down south. Now, what is that gonna be? I don't know. So we could put Fecal Slut somewhere over here, so it would be closer to this thing. Potentially. Look how close are you to doing this biomask? Very close. We said we're gonna give it to Maniac D. No, Nuke. We said Maniac D. I'm sorry. I'm sure you want it. But uh, it's Maniac D who actually gets it. Because uh, Lost Hashman Maniac D would be the ones going out there to fight. So those guys would be the ones needing that. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. But just the way it is. Looks like Lost got himself hurt again. <laughs> At least he heals up fast from uh, from that stuff. At least there's that. So that's good. That is good. Hmm. So somebody that comes through here might try using this. Potentially. So I think it's better if you do it like... That maybe. Put this here. We have our melee guy sitting over here. Potentially. Maybe. We'll see. Potentially, maybe we'll see. Or we have just a firing squad, you know. Classic uh, Ella Strats from her own room world. The firing squad. Okay, it's, uh, it's getting colder. So I think you can go back to normal degrees it's actually like 15 degrees in here huh mm-hmm mm -hmm. all right this part is also done okay not so bad not so terrible I think we can use that as our kind of defensive thing against Saperinos is it gonna work I don't know but it's better than nothing so let's just do Kind of for the same thing down here. Uh, let's go... Maybe like this. Yeah. It is quite important that we have a place where we can go inside. Oh, we are out of granite. We are totally out of granite, actually. It's okay. Uh, I was trying to say it's important that we have a place where we can kind of go inside. Gun turrets research, good. Go for that vitals monitor. Now, when it comes to traps, what would be those Yautia traps? Five sp spikes under tension, connect to a touch, activated trigger. When the victim disturbs the trigger, the spikes spring forward and strike the victim. Since it's hidden in the surrounding terrain, it cannot be placed adjacent to other traps. Animals can sense these when calm. Interesting. Is that a Yautia trap? Potentially. I don't see anything else over here. I don't know where else there would be. If there would be any. Hmm. That's okay, I guess. Um, yes, granite. We'll do... Make granite blocks. Timberwolf. Interesting. Do forever. Where are you, Mr. Timberwolf? And why are you hunting Wilbur? Oh, there's a cider out here. Somebody go get it. Lost? Come over here, that Timberwolf is coming. He is probably gonna get impaled on the spike. Wow. Really? <laughs> Last but not least, you know. <laughs> nice one. Bring it in here. Is there any more wildlife? There's not a tortoise. That one we'll hunt. That one we will hunt. We'll hunt it down. Until it's dead and gone. We have 137 plastic steel. Which means we can make two more of these hats, right? Uh, they are one advanced component though. Which I don't think we have, no. So, no we can't. No, we can't. Can we do anything else? 
We can make plasma pistols. How good is a plasma pistol? Versus a bow. Who has it? Maniac D? So this thing. 25 damage. Pretty good accuracy. Low range cooldown. Solid armor penetration. And let's see your bow. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely better. It's definitely better than bows. And I think others can also use it, so... How about uh, versus this bow? Actually, I think these ones, when they're steel, they're pretty good. Hmm. Or we could make uh, like one of those hunter chest plates and such. You know, heavy chest plates. That will make you nicely protected. We should make a heavy chest plate for Lost, really. Hmm. Or hunter gauntlets. We should make those for people. Actually, everybody. I did say everybody should have that. I think Daniel has it. And then we research that healing thing, and we can put it in here. That could be a thing as well. But right now, I want some granite. Okay, Nuke, you're doing that. Would you mind uh, cutting some stone blocks for me? Because I kind of do want that. Although, it's not exactly your priority, is it? Yeah, do anything else but that. <laughs> you do anything else but that, my dude. Cut over here a bit. Make me some of those. Maybe. Potentially, because uh, we just need a bit more, you see? We just need a bit more. So we can finish this bad boy up. Give me an embrasure. Let's pop it in here. Embrasures are what? Six granite blocks only. Alright. That's not so bad. We'll have enough. I hope. And look, it's only two in the morning, so you're definitely up and running at this point. No worries there. Just make us some of these and then we'll let you be, my man. My dude. Just put these here, maybe. Okay, that's done. Nook, you finish this one and then I'll let you do whatever you want to do. Okay, even if you want to make joints. I'm fine with that. Or, you know, making camp fuel. We actually have uh, 12 shells, which means we definitely should build us a mortar. I think that would be now the time. The question is, where do we want to put it? <coughs> that's a good question. Maybe out here. Uh, this has a roof, right? Yeah, that's nice. Uh, give me a shelf. I want a shelf. That thing. Build me a copy of this over here. That's where we're gonna put it. And uh, we're gonna make ourselves a nice copper mortar. One will do at this point. One will do. Later on we'll get more, but for now one will do. This thing is gonna be important. We're gonna clear all and we're gonna find shells or just shell. And we want high explosive shells in here. Do it. Do it, you won't. Do it, you won't. Okay, at least we have one, you know? One capable of doing some damage. I think that's fine. I think that's just a okay. Just a okay. Hmm. Actually, I will do this slightly differently as I did on the other side. Let's do it this way. I think that's going to be okay. And uh, I guess we can grab these ones over here and put them like this. Is there a good reason for that? No, not really. But it is there. And that's, that's all there is. So do that. Alright, we do have a mortar. So at least we can now open up uh, 
any of the bad boy ships that fall from the sky, which makes me very happy. Also, we're going to need an electric loom. Because we do have uh, some of that stuff incoming soon. Let's actually put this loom somewhere. Bad temperature? Yeah, well, shit happens. Even to the best of us. Bad temperature and all. We could actually add some floor in here. And uh, in the in the vein of this being all weirdly patched up in different floorings, we should do, I don't know, bone flooring now. Where there's no flooring, there shall be bone flooring. Because why not? We have the means to do it. Put it there, put it there. Over there. There's some pieces of dirt. I think this is all like fixed up. That one isn't. And these two aren't. But the rest is nicely fixed. So go there. Do that. Good. All patched up as I said. It's gonna be glorious. <laughs> but for now, thank you everybody for watching. Do hope you enjoyed this episode. Click the notification bell below if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you guys next time with more RimWorld stories. Go crowd.